Alright, welcome to the stream. I'm your cameraman, Craddock. <laughs> and I'm your host, Boogie. <laughs> and I am your co-host, E-Man, and welcome to Warband NA. Tonight we are featuring the teams of SF versus Rebels. These are two teams that have been slowly showing their talent throughout the tournament and surprising a lot of teams. Uh, and now they finally meet head on to determine who was the most improved overall team. Yep, both of these guys are up and comers, and they really carved a path for themselves here. SF, they've defeated recently Defenders of Faith and Knights of Avalon. So, and they put up some points against some of the better teams like Wapa and whatnot. So, they're doing really great. They strike with force. And Rebels have also surprisingly been doing real good. What started as a joke clan is actually commanding some respect out in the battlefield. What's your thoughts on this, Kradok? I mean, both, both teams have something to prove. They got a... Um... They gotta really show that they're starting to work together, that they uh, they have the skills necessary to, to win, get some rounds, and show up to the next tournament. So let's head over to the teams, the rosters. I find this match particularly exciting, because these guys are now established mid-tier teams. That's what I'm going to label them. But... They're close. They're right there, right neck and neck with each other, so it's going to be a good match. I know for SF, we got some standout players. We got Ralix. I've seen this dude couch his enemies very efficiently. Um, 357 is also a good infantryman. Strike Force, they like to run little goon squads uh, of tightly knit infantry. And I wonder whether that'll work against Rebels tonight. So We will see. Uh, Mach is definitely one of the key components of Rebels' forces. He's been always on the top, there t on the top of the lineup. Um, also, Ralex has been doing great for SF. And uh, Giraffe has been great for SF. And of course, you always have Tesla, who's always made a name for himself as being a good archer or overall overall player. And do we have Rebel Queen herself, Snoop, in here tonight? You know, I'm not really seeing Snoop anywhere. Oh, that's unfortunate. I like seeing Snoop perform, but we got the rest of the ragtag group that is the Rebels. And I think they are now congregating in the arena and the beginning duel will start soon enough, people. All Both right. teams are going out into the field, finding a representative. It looks like it's going to be mock for Rebels, and... Uh... We'll see who SF chooses to face on Mock. Wait, Mock has the TMW <laughs> clan moniker? Yeah, he just recently joined Team W. Uh, he was only murking for Rebels for this tournament. Oh, but he's still part of Rebels. He is he's a part of the Rebels uh, UNAC team, which is not limited to clans. Uh, but he is a uh, member of Team W right now. That, uh, that's kind of confusing. <laughs> Can you be part of multiple clans? He's not in Rebels, though. He's, he's a part of their, their, their scrimming uh, oh! clan. So TMW is in bed with the Rebels. This is a startling development. I don't know how this will fare here. <laughs> All right, Fine. we are waiting for for SF's duelist. 
Oh, I got high hopes for these guys. It's actually really tough to decide which team I'm rooting for because SF, I, at first I didn't know who they were, but I've watched, I've streamed enough of them to have a real, to see these guys and their passion. So I got an inclination towards them. But at the same time, Rebels are awesome on USGK Siege. They're awesome people to play with and against. So I do hope them the best as well. May the better team prevail. And Ralix is just facing off against Mock. I think that was the actual duel right there, and it didn't last very long. <laughs> One of the quickest duels with Mock securing the victory. Mock is 1 0 against Ralix. I know Ralix for his cab, and he does not have a horse here, but he's still trying. Great swords. Oh my and god, Mark double stack. Alex again. 2 0. It was Rebels. the stabs that did him in. He was ill prepared for those, so. Rebels, Rebels get to choose. Are choosing open planes. I wouldn't jump on that boogie because these guys are. They don't all speak for the whole crew, they, they throw up a lot of map names. <laughs> I've seen them do true. it before. I guess they get a consensus. Maybe they vote through chat. Whatever map <laughs> gets. <laughs> That's how you get the rebels to get together, to work together on anything. I mean, they are rebels by name, right? Yes. I mean, rebellious but people. They believe in democracy. <laughs> they are idealists. Rebellious idealists. <laughs> the best type, and that's why I like them. But it might just be open field, because I don't really see another option being thrown out. We will find out here soon. If that if we do see open planes, that will be the second time that we've seen open planes in a, in a stream tonight. Earlier, it was uh, Valiant choosing open planes against GA and going 8-0 against them. And that was a uh, fantastic match where Valiant went 16-2 against the uh, top team in the of the... Of the uh, League. A surprising upset, honestly, because people didn't see that coming. And though the result is spoiled, it is up on the Warband NA stream if anyone wishes to watch it. Rebels are saying open planes, top spawn. SF is waiting. We're waiting on SF to choose their faction choice. And then Rebels respond, and then we'll be on our ways. Oh, open planes. I do not envy you, Craddock. <laughs> Those maps. I personally feel open planes and random planes should be deleted simply because they are a nightmare to film. But... <laughs> I'll, I'll make do. I'll make do. And we continue to wait for uh, SF to choose their faction choice. They seem to just enjoy themselves, so it's kind of why I like these guys, like, yeah, maybe, maybe their professionalism ain't up to par, but they're the friggin' rebels in Strike Force. come on now, they, they're in here just goofing around. <laughs> Getting warm-up, maybe this is invaluable warm-up. Well, they did do a 5 aside against KOA, so maybe SF is, uh, warmed up, maybe rebels aren't real warmed up. They Although might not be. I've seen, I think in the brackets, they've had a few weeks of buys lately because of the disappearance of, um, you, uh, Fire and Sword clans. I think the, uh, GCG was actually, uh, uh, Napoleonic. Napoleonic, ah. Uh, it's all the same. <laughs> They're all bad games. <laughs> uh, SF is choosing Nords, and if, uh, Rebels choose... Uh, Serenade, we will have a repeat from earlier today. The circumstances... Or, well, the factions will be the same, but the circumstances will be much different. Oh, very much. And Rebels choose Vagors, so... Nords versus Vagors. On open planes. So now we're just waiting for the admin to switch it. Yep, we are waiting for the teams to go along, but in the meantime, we can talk about, we are what, at week 11 
in the UNAC tournament. And it concludes in two more weeks, right? It is a 13-week tournament. Indeed it is. And right there, as soon as it ends, does the playoff begin? Or how does that work? I think the yeah, the week after. Uh, it, yeah, I think uh, it just goes right into the four-man single elimination. Are those spaced out, or is it just like one giant day of war banding? Oh, uh, they're spaced out over two weeks. So you'll have the first two matches and then the final on the next week. Well, it's worth noting that these guys, SF and Rebels alike, are not quite in the standing to make the playoffs, but they're still, they're proving themselves here for future tournaments that they are a force to contend with. They could be the up and coming, judging by what this is. I mean, if they keep on improving the way they've been, they, they've been improving the last, uh, from the beginning of the tournament to the end of the tournament, they keep on that scale going upwards. I mean, they could be uh, competing for the championship next tournament. And this match is a good viewport into the future because the, the victorious team, they'll, be vict they'll emerge victorious against a tough opponent here. I mean, a equal caliber opponent, let me put it like that. So as soon as this match gets underway, we will see. Then again, a question I have, is open fields truly a good indicator of Warband skill? Are these open maps like... Because it well, seems like the strategy is well employ. You do uh, on cav work. I mean, last last map we showed had, uh, you know, GA was outmatched on cav against Valiant. And Valiant definitely had better strategy and better cav work. And, you know, that really played off. You saw you saw last uh, last one when, uh, when it was a four v four and it was four valiant cab against uh, four dismounted cab and valiant yes. swept them. Didn't even lose a person. You know that's that, that that definitely shows that valiant knows what they're doing, and definitely that shows you know teamwork does play a huge part in this map. Is there is that is that map as much teamwork or individual skill? Is it like? They would never have been able to do that if it was just individual skill. They had to know exact... With cab work in general, you have to know what your other cab around you are doing. And you have to uh, take advantage of what they're doing. Or set up other people. And that, that plays a vital part in, in multiple cab work. If it's, just, if it's just by yourself, if you're the only cab, then, you know, sometimes it's just player skill. But when it's, when it's six or seven cab, it, it's a lot of deal with teamwork. <laughs> And a, and a good sense of awareness. So, we are loading into open fields. A very barren map. A few trees sprinkled here and there. One rock formation. And the saddest of hills. If this, if this map were a woman, it'd barely be an A cup. That is how small this hill is. All right, everyone loaded in. It might be live. We'll find out here soon. I think we have a reason for the delay. SF's team speak seemed to have crashed, which is partially why we're still loading up here and the teams are accumulating. And this is not a reroll, so it seems like we are going live here. SF has one infantry, one archer, and they're in the middle. And followed by five cav. And then uh, rebels are choosing to have three archers and four cav. Let's see how that works out for these guys. SF is crazy engaging a thesis. Uh, a thesis. Mom oh, tries that to come in and help trouble too. <laughs> and Matt and uh, Tesla has very very low health right now. Mark almost took him down. 
It looks like we're waiting for flag. In 10 seconds, the flag will spawn. Templar is moving up to the right. Get a different angle on the archer. Flag pops in the middle. SF are much closer to it, and they have their infantry established there. Or, well, their sole infantryman, poor Fringe with his shield, has already taken a hurting from them bows. Yeah, he turned his shield just for a second, and Templar got a hit on him. Templar's not even looking at this archer that's shooting at him, though. So now he turns himself. Unfortunately, um, I don't know, isn't hitting him. And he finally He's getting hit himself. instead. He's got an arrow right in his breast. And Neanderthal goes down to, uh, Dak or Dang? Dag. Dag's archer work, and Moth is falling right behind him and finishes him up. And meanwhile, friends, uh, S SF are totally claiming the flag. Rebels are slowly encroaching upon it, but they don't seem to prioritize it too much. This might be their downfall. Giraffe takes down Courtney. Crew takes down the archer on minor now. Uh, and that flag is mostly risen by SF, but uh, oh, SF man, is losing is all horse. the cav. I mean, that's, that's a lot of cav that went down for SF. But now they have men on the flag. Oh my goodness, no, and they're being run right through. Dag is doing good work here. Three, five, seven, just ignoring. Moth just took down two down cav, and it looks like Rebel's gonna win this one. Loses his course, and this should be the end of three, five, seven. Oh my goodness. Rebels taking the first round here on open fields and taking it rather convincingly. At first, I thought it was a blunder to not charge the flag, but instead, Rebels slowly encroached upon it, taking a few kills here and there until finally, before SF Nuba was up, they were all dead at flag and Rebels emerged victorious. Yeah, what, what I think happened is Rebels decided that uh, SF had too many coursers there and could uh, easily take out all the coursers and then mop up from there. And that's exactly what they did. They let him have the flag, and then once all the horses were down, Dag had open open reign to just fire into everything. Oh, and he yeah. got a few kills, and then Mock finished off the rest of the guys as they were looking at Dag. I mean, they just used their archers to advantage right there. And now SF are also trying, again, trying to reclaim the only hill on the map. And a whole lot of little excursions coming out here. Relic's going in deep. Oh, because he's going, oh, he's getting attention for Madness to come in and get Templar. The archers are feeling the wrath of three horsemen on them. Ooh, Tesla goes down. Oh, uh, it loses. Uh, got his horse stopped, but got out of there. All the Mog rebels up three, are five, scrambling seven. to defend their archers against these three cav, the Anderthal, Madness, and Ralix. Oh, and, but Madness goes down. And it looks like Ralix is going to go down, and now Neanderthal. That was a bad push by SF. Mock was definitely showing him that he has uh, some cav work in him. With his nice horse that he's riding right up, right up on the hill. And that was SF staying far too long out there. Initially it was good, and now Fringe is just trying his best. Oh no. The giraffe is the last horse standing. I think Hardly SF had a good left. charge there. Except they didn't have backup to come, and they kept trying to kill the archers. Their first pass, they only injured a few archers. They didn't secure any kills. And because of that, I think they got bloodthirsty and stayed in those trees, and the rebel horsemen just ran circles around them. Yeah, it was definitely uh, rebels that uh, had better cab work in that area. I mean, SF was stopping left and right. They got stopped so many times, and as soon as they got stopped, every, every rebel was just right there to hit them. And I, that was the death of SF right there. Every, every time they got stopped, their horse went down because it was three archers and four cab all grouping up on one horse. SF lost that round due to tunnel vision. And we have Mock trying to throw spears at the front of the hill. I think the rebels now have quite a few of the the plated horse. Which one? The, what is that one called? Uh, that would be a charger. Step a charger. charger. Yeah. Well, they're stepping to and fro here with those horses. 
We got crew and mock on a step charge. Those are uh, hard to take down with just uh, archers and jabs, so it'll definitely help them out. On the plus SF. side, SF has the coursers, and they can outrun those things pretty pretty easily. Except their, their uh, lances aren't that long, and we'll find out uh, they want to duel them, which doesn't seem like they want a cab duel. So their faction suits a kind of hit and run maneuver, which they tried to do previously, but now they're far, I think they're afraid now. They're... Last round worked out so poorly for them that they're not using their speed to try to pick someone off. Maybe because they also can't find anyone to pick off. Tesla decided to switch to Archer right now. He thought that uh, maybe he can do some help with, uh, I don't know. I don't know is about dead. Taking two hits uh, from Archer's. Yes, he's got one on each side. <laughs> Master of the field spawns right where SFR. A few brave um, rebels are venturing forth onto the hill. Mox trying to get a kill on poor injured. I don't know. Oh, oh, and it's successful. And now here comes the rebel horses, all hidden down. Fringe and uh, Tesla. Tesla goes down. To a, a jab from Mach. SF forces completely ditching their infantrymen and archer to engage in this ruckus out near Rebels archers, but I don't think they're gonna win this. Oh man, that's a Courtney doing some great work right there. Mock Mock and Courtney basically have been finish him up, Mock especially. Uh, Beautiful positioning also from Bohemian. Able to shoot the hill and the engagement happening at his own archers. And now, yet again, the rebels lackadaisically just walk on up the hill and take it since there's no more enemies left. Well, they're doing a good job in those, those engagements. They're getting the advantages they want. And when they, when they trade, uh, they're definitely winning on the trade. As in, when Mach and Crew and Athesis all win for uh, SF's archers, uh, and SF's horsemen went for uh, Rebels archers. Uh, it, it really seemed like SF was uh, losing in that regard. Every time Rebel went to uh, SS archers, they finished them off. Every time SF went to Rebels archers, they never could get it done. And they got that, stopped in the meantime. That is true. I believe that is also because SF... I think they have less manpower in their horses, so the first people to reach are usually the only people to reach for a while until backup arrives, and so... They're fighting on two fronts, but... Neither one is reinforced that well. Um, I don't know, switch to, uh, uh infantry. Neanderthal goes to an archer. SF is making slight changes, whereas uh, Rebels are keeping the same. Are these changes in the right direction, though? Do they need more infantrymen? I think SF and their reliance on their little squads is actually really hurting them out here on this map. Well, now it's a archer uh, for every infantryman, so... Or an infantryman for every archer, so they can't just bum-rush the, uh, the archer without having to deal with the spear. That didn't oh, really help them last time, though. They fortified their little infantry position so that when their horses go forth, they don't have to worry as much about being corralled. Yes. Yes, but is one infantryman enough to change that? Uh, normally not, but we'll find out if it helps them out. Especially with all these heavy horses and their small spears, it's... And it doesn't look too good for uh, them. But the flag does favor them right now. Let's see what SF do. They've had the flag every time, but they've lost it. Oh, they are pegging mock. I Giraffe think rebels went... are afraid of that little infantry group. Giraffe went for a couch. He got nothing out of it. Now he's being chased by Courtney with uh, jabs and Bohemian shooting him with... Uh... Bows and he just goes down. Giraffe completely out of position trying to catch these archers out. He is gonna die without any backup. Oh no, yes, yes, yes. And that's what he, he got a little greedy by turning into the archer instead of turning away when he missed his couch. I think he got greedy from being in that general vicinity in the first place. 
It this team was far away. Mock is trying to harass the archer, but he goes down. He loses his charge. Nice shot. Nice Krugel shot. Krugel takes down one of the archers. Got out of position. Fringe oh. goes off and gets hit by uh, a uh, lance. The SF infantry on the hill is once again getting rolled over a thesis and crew. <laughs> Just demolishing! Oh my god! Poor Alex taking what three archer shots from three different angles. It was and, uh, it was the end of his uh, his time on this uh, plane. On this earth, on this existence, the end of his time in that in that set because rebels swept them. Notice every single time SF start on the hill. I mean, start on the flag. They raise it a good distance. But at the end of it, when the dust settles, you see all the rebels standing atop the hill, claiming that area. SF can't hold it. I think that's partially because uh, SF's cab isn't doing so well right now. They are doing questionable things, and an example, and a prime example of that is um, who was that man that charged Thor? Oh yes, Mr. Giraffe, sticking his neck out there without his team, and. Especially since it seemed that SF had a strategy of hold the hill, hold the flag. Well, how are you going to do that if you got some Cav players rushing forth trying to get some cheap kills out there instead of trying to protect that core infantry that you're, you're trying to set up? Because the infantry sure as hell can't protect itself. <laughs> it took nope. all of two horses to get up. Not looking good. All right, when this uh, map swaps, we will uh, see what SF and Rebels have to do. What do you have think S SF have to do? Not be so risky on uh, Cap. They are gambling. They have or rollers. Either. Or make uh, make uh, their Cap hits count. So far, every time they've come in with their Cap, they just missed everything. Here's an idea. If these guys want to do that, because their infantry, by all accounts, haven't done crap. I don't think their archers have gotten many hits either. If they want to do that bold strategy, then just everyone mount up. We'll see what they do here. I mean, they are uh, vagars. This is hurting me, man, because I like SF, and I know they're better than this. They haven't performing really well recently. Maybe it's a curse of this map, because also GA did really bad, and you wouldn't expect GA to do terrible on any map. So, the curse of open planes. Well, maybe just uh, some, some, it's like a, a black and white. Some clans are really good at it, and some clans can do it. Well, SF certainly need to get some rounds here in order so that in the next few sets on a closed map, they can uh, rally together. But it would be too hard if they lose much more rounds here because then the deficit will be way too big. Mentally and in score, like... Because if you don't believe you can make a comeback, you probably won't. But we're just waiting on, uh... It's looked like it was Rebels. Teams are switching. A bit of technical problems, it seems SF is being plagued by the curse of open fields that is affecting their team speak, among other things. Rebels are being courteous and waiting. And, well, I guess we could just talk about some of the stuff here. So do you think an all-cab thing would help um, SF out here? Or... I think I think a change will help him out. It, it could even be just the faction choice. We'll see how they go. I mean, a change of faction away from uh, Nords. Not everyone knows what to do with Nords on, uh, on open plains. So a change to something that they might be more comfortable with on an open map might help out SF. Uh, and if that doesn't help them out, then yeah, definitely changing something up is something they need to do. 16 throwing axes. 
that's how you rock Nards on open play. They, uh, they, they could definitely go all infantry with throwing axes. I'm not sure how that would help them. <laughs> but, I mean, throwing uh, axes was... from the horses. Or horsemen can get throwing axes. Uh, they can only get jabs. Ah, uh, I see. Because that'd be way too overpowered. Running uh, you down on a horse with a throwing axe, so... It's really hard to aim. Yeah, it has a bigger drop. Oh, but it has weight behind it when it cleaves someone's forehead. And I think they did jabs mainly for historical reasons, because throwing throwing spears off horses is something that people did, but throwing axes off horses, I guess people did That's do that. That's pure fantasy. But, I mean... <laughs> but it's not cool as, fantasy. Not as based. And we are waiting for SF to confirm they're ready, and then we can get right back into it. SF are taking this time to uh, also think about their actions. A good little... Basically, a timeout was called here so they could reorganize. Seems like one of their members has dropped. Which one is it? Rebels. I mean, SF may need to do a substitution here, because I do see... Oh, it was Mr. I don't know. I think he's back. No, I think they're, they're uh, looking for somebody else. Otherwise, they'd start it with them. I don't know. I think Fringe was supposed to be in, but he started lagging, so... They're waiting for somebody else, I think. Oh, he is suffering some lag. So SF really are trying something new. They're not just changing factions, they're changing players here. Well, there is Captain to join and help out SF. And I mean, that help is who they were waiting for. Captain is a good member of that SF, and he's been uh, usually a, a fierce competitor in, in their matches. One of the top in the scoreboard. So let's see if that helps him out. All right, so they have a star player now joining their ranks. Captain, what is he known for? I don't remember that name. I've seen SF fight. He's usually in the top top of the ranks. I'm, I, he's really good at uh, infantry work and... Uh, I'm not really sure about his cab work, but I know he's a good infantry fighter. <clears throat> well, now that he is back, I do believe we are almost underway to continue the match. Second set. Rebels 4-0. SF trying to make a comeback here. SF with uh, six cav, one archer, and rebels a little mixed right there. One infantry mock, uh, and two archers, Bohemian and Templar. The rest uh, cav, uh, three archers, Bohemian, Templar, and Dag. Little skirmishes are breaking out on, on the outskirts here. The main contingents of rebels are hiding underneath a tree. I mean, there's no good place for the infantrymen to stand on this type of map anyway, but a tree is better than that open hill that SF were taking. Well, the good thing about the hill is it does have rocks near it, um, and, and a tree, and from there you can usually see the entire map, so it's a good point for archers to shoot off of. And also, that flag does spawn right next to it. Rebels seem to be scaring SF away here. Another stop, two stops, SF just running and getting their horses stopped, which doesn't really help SF timid on the engage, but they still started off good. Dag taken out right at the beginning. And there we go, SF is doing pretty well right now. They got a few couches right there. Angry Archer and Captain making their work. Taking down a few guys. And uh, they're finishing them off at Thesis versus 6 SF. but it seems like SF just wants to get stopped by all their horses. 
it is a Courser that Tesla finally takes on a Thesis. 357 misses his Lance, but gets the bump stab. And SF secure the first round in the second set. They are clawing their way back here. Doing much better. Doing much better. They were still rather timid there, but... I think the uh, increase in cav has helped them tremendously. And oh, rebels have responded with all cav. Yes, it's a horse race, folk. With one lonely archer, who is that? Poor Neanderthal. Is he the focus of everyone? Uh, we'll find out here soon, I guess. <laughs> oh, yes, he is! Oh my god, of course, the first man, the only man without a horse is the first man that dies on an all-horse battle. But, they... SF take out Rebel in turn. Now we're just doing a cab battle right now. Courtney is down for Rebels, and the Archer is down for SF, that's ne Neanderthal. Tesla takes down a thesis and then takes down uh, Mox horse. It's just a straight up horse brawl out here. A lot of little brawls going back and forth, back and forth. SF is having a real trouble with stopping the horses. It's not really, uh, they're not really caring too much about it because the rebels aren't. Uh, Oh, Mach trying his best to fight on foot. He's trying to get help from Rebel crew, but no. SF uh, group, grouped up on Mach right there, and then they grouped up on Behemoth. And now they have a huge advantage against uh, CDJ and crew. Cedrix? That's Cedrix? a better name. Cedrix. Oh, my goodness. I never even saw such a weird name. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Kratos. And, and Crew is Crusader. I kind of like Crew, man. Motley Crew, just the crew. The puns you can make off the name. But SF are winning. They accumulated little advantages here and there, dehorsing some of the Rebels players and focusing them. And now it's just cleanup duty. Tesla gets a nice jab on the back of uh, Crew's horse, and Captain finishes them off. And now Tesla's fighting uh, Cedrix against the wall. Cedrix. Running Cedrix for isn't his really, life. Uh, doesn't seem like he's trying to kill he, anybody, but... He's trying to find a way out there, but there is no escape. He's trying to Captain find the missing vowel in his name. Is leading the scoreboard for SF. He's a good addition to SF. Help him out on this round that they need to win forward to even it up. Ooh, Captain is sitting at 4-0. That change of player has done them huge favors. And here comes the Step Chargers, 3-5-7 and Rylix on the Step Chargers. And Tesla likes the uh, Courser for the speed, but he's getting chased by Bohemian. Ooh, Mach loses his horse right at the beginning. Oh, and he starts getting run through. SF Captain is trying to kill Mach, but meanwhile at the tree, oh my goodness. And there's the crash. Dad goes down to a couch. Neanderthal gets Bohemian. That was a bad uh, shield drop by Bohemian. Tesla takes down Templar. <laughs> Thesis gets bumped and taken down. Uh, and Tesla goes ahead and kills uh, kills Courtney while he, uh, right after he took a thesis. Surprisingly, Mach, Mach is still alive. He was the first man to lose his horse. Last yeah, man to lose did. his life. I think they were just letting Mach sit there by himself and one horse to stay there while they uh, crash on uh, the archers. Letting him stew and think about what he's done. And crew, last one alive. No longer. He joins the rest of his crew in Valhalla. Oh wait, they're not Nords. Lord knows where the Vagars go when they die. Some place miserable, because they're a bunch of archers. I oh, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> the deepest pits of hell. 
Have, SF doing tremendous. Uh, of you know that uh, Madness is using a Falchion. <laughs> he doesn't have a scimitar. He traded it to one of his uh, to someone else from a uh, previous round in the first round. And Madness is styling. Oh, he's did so well. Uh, did pretty good last time. Got wow, kills Captain, setting the pace for this mat for this round, taking a kill right off the bat, stabbing another horse. The man, the man's on fire. Once again, rebels aren't taking use of any of those uh, stopped uh, cabs, and they're dying every time they uh, stop themselves. It's not looking good for them. Mock finishes up Captain who hit him earlier. Tesla takes down Tag. And it's Bohemian, Crew, and Mock versus 6SF. Versus far too many goes opponents. Down really fast. Neanderthal loses his horse. Uh, and Bohemian and Mog don't have much health. The horses might be fine, though. My goodness, they are being chased down. Well, with this final round, this concludes open fields, does it not? It, it will. Yes, unless uh, Mog and uh, <laughs> Bohemian do something crazy. The upset of a century now. Oh. Uh, oh. I don't think that's going to happen with Giraffe throwing a damn far jab. That's beautiful. Even his horse has a spear in his head. Oh, man. Oh! And then they kill a horse. Why? The horse did nothing. Angry Archer is angry at horses. And it's Bohemian versus SF. Bohemian versus the world. Well, quite, quite plainly, the man's screwed. He gets slowed down. Jumps oh, he's over a lance, diving, though. but loses his horse, he gets bumped, bumped, gets a cab stop, but, uh, gets hit from behind. <laughs> Obviously, Tesla wasn't impressed with that jab throw that Giraffe did earlier. And now the score is tied. Both teams take a set apiece cleanly. Clean sweeps for both teams. 4-4, four, four, tied up. This is more like it, that's why. The beginning the beginning showing of SF was subpar. But now Rebels have seemed to have fallen into the same chasm that SF have clawed out of. It could have just been the, uh... Nords. I mean, it doesn't seem like either team liked playing as Nords against Vegas. Simply too much to handle. The Vagers win every round. Maybe next patch they'll nerf them correctly. <laughs> We're most likely going to see Swadia next map. With their super buff. Cheaper armor, cheaper weapons, cheaper darts. Rebels choose Rodox. And they are on the Lauren. Oh, so, so it is, is the exact same maps, except in different order from GA versus Valiance. I like to believe they were watching the stream and decided, hey, we can do this. <laughs> we and could show these maps how it's done. It is, uh, the Lauren with, uh, Rodok vs. Swadia. Both teams gearing themselves up for this because they're tied right now. Four four, first person who wins five. Technically you could win. As if it's another four oh sweep. I doubt it. It's gonna be a whole lot of Yeah, I think it's gonna be a lot of back and forth, dependent on the infantry. Verloren is rat market, right? Or is that right? Yes.
Yes, rat market being the name that Europeans use. There's cheese in a market. It's so fitting. Mm -hmm. But the map is loading. Both teams had one last glory round to blow out some steam on open fields. But now they are arriving here in Verloren. This round may be live. And it looks like, uh... Is looks it? Like it is. It looks like it is, and SF is pushing right down. Oh, they have the height advantage! But it didn't matter for Dag. Dag still got a headshot on the height advantage. Looks like Ralex was fainting when he didn't need to. Mock is looking for his shield stone with his pike. Well, there's nobody there to support him, and Captain... Tesla are moving right into Templar in the uh, oh, archers. Oh, Thesis, the only cab doing work. Krug is a team kill on Mog. That's not going to work well for Rebels. Fights are breaking off into private little engagements. Private engagements that the Rebels seem to be winning. Lord Dag is now overwhelmed by Captain and uh, Madness. We now have to face four enemies. I think they're retreating into the tunnels, yes. They gotta bait this one out. Two men against four. Rebel's cab really shining through. It looks like they're gonna be waiting for uh, Master here to find out what happens. Rebel tried to poke down the two remaining SF players in the tunnels with some crossbow shots, but the two are alive. They're licking their wounds. They are traveling as a duo here, Mr. Captain and Madness. Well, they were a duo in the beginning, and you were saying that they like to do little teams right there. Well, that was yes. a team, and their team survived, but now, is... uh, now they've got to face off against four strong Rebels. This is Captain and Team Captain actually together here. Bohemian's hiding in the uh, gateway right now, hoping, hoping they come in and get a back shot on one of them. He might do it right here with uh, Tesla or Captain, we'll see. And there he is. Madness and the Captain corner. are running in blind. They have to, though. It. Captain, real timid, he knows he's a hair's breadth away from the, uh, oh, the other life. Captain going between multiple crossbows right here. He will get shot. Or no, he's doing his job. Madness is doing his too, though. He's fighting the horsemen and the infantrymen. While, Man while Captain fights two archers. Oh, no, but Templar had a brain. He had an inkling of a thought in his mind. And he said, why not target Madness? He's really screwed right now. Captain trying to get out of there. Let's see if he can save some money. But Captain. it doesn't look like he's going to survive for too long. Oh, Captain, my Captain, it's over. Actually, Athesis is chasing him down. Whoa, he's taking the horse. Please, you shouldn't go. Madness, oh, Captain's responding. Bad job by Athesis. He loses his horse. That's, you know, he doesn't get an upgrade. Oh, nice uh, kick. And then he dies right there. They should have just let him be, but nope. Now he has a chance. Captain throwing out one last insult. One last insult to the rebels. Spit ah. in their faces. And that was just a poor decision by Adesis. And now we got 357 and Adesis looking at each other. Adesis is coming in from the side, and Rebels are pushing down, 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 like they did before, right into SF. SF went through uh, and got the up side of uh, the tower. They own the upper level, and they seem content to be sitting there. They're not really pushing as uh, as before. Mock is being really brave and prodding SF, who are all sitting very contentedly up there. I think there's a private horse engagement, though. 357 and a thesis. They're trying to fight each other, but neither one is really committing to it. Oh, nice shot on a thesis from atop the tower as he ran back behind um, 
the SF Stronghold. He's actually in the market and he's rather injured, or halfway injured. 357 seems to actually be pressing his advantage now. Not much else is happening. Both teams just moving and grooving. And they're waiting on flag or something. Or they're waiting right? for the result of this, this horse duel. Because then one <laughs> team will have a horse and the other one won't. Giraffe is uh, opting for a uh, two handed sword. Both teams are getting antsy. They're staring each other down and getting. The war cries are getting louder. Templar took a hit from, uh, looked like Angry Archer from the top. And Master Pops, it's at, uh, Brew Area. A Thesis and 357 gave up their little horse duel. But now, it might be round two here, as they're the first ones on the field. 357 sees him, yeah, he's lowering the lance! No. And they whiff each other yet again. The story of these two fighters. <laughs> Rebels they... are moving up through Brew. Uh, and they are the first in the flag. Looks like SF is just gonna follow them uh, from their spawn into Brew. Do the same route they are. Looks like Rebel uh, SF might catch one of the guys. Courtney sees him. SF are moving from behind now, coming from where Rebels came. They got a good shield wall coming. Oh, and the horse battle continued in the background. Technically, a thesis is, is winning because he has he has his horse still. Three five seven is joining as a footman, and SF for dying. A thesis ultimately wins the duel because he kills three five seven on foot, and Rally's yeah, trying SF to take is going down back. pretty heavily right now. Yes, yeah, SF is doing a good job on uh, Cap. Ralik's doing his best. He's bleeding hard. He's surviving quite a few hits with that nice armor, but no. He gets Arch Templar. Great performance from Templar. Knowing how to pick targets who are occupied with his teammates. And who was the last person alive? Is it Neanderthal? Oh, no, no it is Captain, my Captain. Captain fell falling down the stairs. He puts a great showing for SF, though. He's doing real great. Just... Can't do two, can't do everything on your own, Captain. SM choosing to go straight into the tower again. Rebels are gonna meet them there. We'll see what happens. Oh, yes! Fight, doorway fight! Here we go, and Rebels are backing off. They don't yes. want any piece of that. <laughs> Mach is still brave, though. The man's a firecracker, he's got, he's got spirit. Mach is eager to be at the forefront, but now both teams are doing the stare off. SF control the tower. And uh, the duel between 357 and Athesis carries on into the next round. So far, Athesis has the advantage in horse and money, but 357 has destroyed his shield. And these two are really going at it. They know the importance of the horsemen and the cab in that fight. In the previous round, 357 lost his horse, was unable to aid his team, and ultimately SF lost. Now, how much how much of that fell on him? I don't know. Well, 357 did get a couch on a thesis book. A thesis blocked it with his shield. And uh, now he's running back to the safety of his own team. After Just doing like a lot before, of damage on 357's horse, though. Yes, 357 horse is the real loser from this engagement. But... Yet again, neither one really securing anything. Oh, it's Mach. Mach is what? Oh! Mach is fighting 357 now on foot. He is totally baiting him with this, this AFK maneuver he's pulling. He'll stand still until 357 is almost at him, and then he jump slices. 357 I'm... shouldn't be falling for that, especially in a scrim. Everyone knows you're not supposed to be AFK in a scrim, and... I doubt yes. uh that is questionable AFK too. <laughs> he almost got goaded into it though, but Master Spawn has it? Where is it? I don't see it. It is at the uh rebel spawn area. Uh SF is deciding to go through the tunnels and Ooh. 
go right out it. Out it. That is a brilliant move. They took the rat tunnels, but a beautiful shot in the tunnels. This man took the corner without his shield up. Mon finishes off 357 with his spear. Seems like uh, 357 was trying to take Mon when he wanted and did not get there. SF are attacking Red, Red Giraffe just now emerges from the tunnel. They are not in sync right here, especially to take on rebels who have this this area already in command. They've already set themselves up here. That was a good move by the end of all to get a thesis off the uh, heavy horse, takes him down. Now you got oh. Moth versus Angry uh, Angry Archer. Angry Archer get a few hits on Moth, but he's not gonna last too long with all these people coming in at him. Yes, he has the archers too. He can't even swing. Now he can. Oh, but it's not enough. Mock with that fire in him. Gets the double swing on him. Consumes him in flames. My goodness. The rebel archer. This, this match is really the story. Or these rounds are the story of the rebel archers. And their ability to help their infantrymen in the engagements. It is now 3-0 for, uh, for rebels and... 7-4 overall. Rebels yes. are not wanting to engage and they oh take Captain. Captain died because Mock is doing his stare down the team maneuver and goading SF to lower their shields because he has this archer buddy, Mond, right behind. Right behind, ready to pick off anyone who lowers their shield. Truly, the rebel archers are outdoing themselves here. And Mach has nothing to fear, he knows. He can see their swings coming, but they cannot see the archer bolt come. Angry Archer trying to get some shots from the top. Mach is just not giving a damn. Truly a rebel. He is embracing in his spirit. Two men, three men, bring them all on, he says. Oh, he it's got a, a swipe. <laughs> he starts walking down. <laughs> Once you whip the rebels a little, they, they have to regroup. Rebellions are sensitive things. Then rebels are staying exactly where they were before. SF tried to flank, but it got spotted out, and they took some damage from a thesis. Yeah, thesis took a hit on uh, Neanderthal. Looks like. And well, thesis left the tunnel, and now Mock, front line right here, stopping the SF charge or emerging from the rat hole. And nothing much yet. SF are not, they don't want to fight out there. They know the archers. They know they're better protected in the tunnel. But even then, they get shot up in the tunnel, so. Rebels have a good, good uh, um, flank with all their uh, archers, crossbows spread out. A really good spread. Bohemian so trying to get some shots inside. I think SF is doing the smart thing here, bringing it to the tunnels. Red Giraffe is point. He is fighting everyone, trying to get some support from Alex. Mock gets a team hit on Courtney. Uh, some Courtney archer is gonna hit his teammate in the back. Oh no! A rebel well, archer finds his mark. Does not hit people in the back. He hits giraffe. And kills him. Right on point. I think I have to just take the corner, but I don't think rebels are dumb enough to push it. I love this push! You see rebels, they're bleeding! They're taking hits for this! Oh, and they lose a man! Now SF! Oh, now they're angry. Now the beehive stir. Oh, man. SF is getting some momentum now. They just took down the three infantry that was was there. And uh, they are pushing, pushing, pushing. Oh, but, meanwhile, uh, rebels. Like, I was wondering, where the hell were the rest of the rebels? The rest of the rebels were smarter than them. As that flag madness is, is up. running. That flag That's is almost up. at the peak. Just run to it, Madness. Madness got there. No. He doesn't get there in time, though. And they win. The only reason the rebels were losing that tunnel fight, which was hard fought, was because they sacrificed the three brave warriors in those tunnels. They died, Courtney and Co. But meanwhile, the rest of the team just raised the flag right under the noses of a uh, SF. That is a sneaky move. Rebels have their eye on the prize. That was wonderful. That was really awesome. And now it's a uh, almost guaranteed rebel victory against SF. All they have to do is win one round. 
the oh, uh, no. best. SF best. will come back strong again and win four. I'm if telling they can, you. It's a tie. If they can't, Rebels win. SF have been falling for the traps set by Rebels of all sorts. They're falling for the the, the archer traps. They're falling for the stratagem that, that Rebels are using to cap flag and distract them. Wow. Oh. <laughs> yeah, someone messed up the map rotation by way well, Teams are switching folk. I am very impressed by the Rebels' performance here. They, they, they've taken a page out of GA. They're, they're running this map better than GA did it because they are setting up their uh, crossfire that uh, SF is running right into. And SF beats them to the tower. Rebels staying back again. And we have the Athesis versus 357 match. One more time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a nice headshot from Neanderthal. I think they won the little lacrosse fire exchange. And it might be because SF Neanderthal actually owns the top of the tower and is using that for free shots. That is the benefit that that location gives you. The 357 just trying to stay alive right here. Dag actually took a shot as well, so Rebels are down a man. And an in and one man is injured, but the cab battle oh, wow. is still going. Three five, three, five, seven brought uh, a thesis right into the uh, crosshairs of uh, Tesla inside a tunnel around the corner. It was a really good uh, maneuver. Oh, I and, see. Uh, That's madness. And uh, a thesis went right into Tesla and got took a hit. And his uh, horse isn't feeling pretty good. That was Captain. a brilliant strategy. Yeah, it was really good. The Realized. element of surprise there. Oh! A thief is getting shot from behind by Angry Archer. A wonderful clutch shot. Oh my god, SF with the crossfire now. SF is pushing in, but his, their crossbow was out. Finished up uh, a thesis, and now they're waiting for their crossbows to get into position. Now we have uh, one cab all by himself, and that would be 357. SF and, uh, intelligently regrouping now that they've accumulated a few little advantages here in manpower. Not pressing too hard and too stupid into locations Rebels already set up. A brilliant read from SF. They are responding to this. They are not out of this yet. Angry Archer getting chased by Mach. Maybe Mach's fiery spirit. Oh, being chased right into the path of 357. Mach don't give a damn. He'll kill 357 and still go for Archer. Doesn't matter though, because the rest of the team is getting destroyed at the flag from SF. Courtney goes down, Dad goes down, Madness finish off Mock with a hammer. <laughs> Insult to injury. SF take a round. Setting themselves up for a 4 0 sweep again. It's not even a sledgehammer, it's a maul. <laughs> There's a speed that Mock wasn't used to. SF mauling Rebels that round. Uh, the fiery spirit of Rebels actually working against them. Mr. Mock abandoning his team to chase a kill. And this is the first time that, uh, Rebels decide not to go straight into the tower. SF decided to go into the tower, tower this time. Uh, so they won't meet in tower this time. Rebels are going around to through. Get a few hits on, uh, 357's horse. Rebels only need to secure one round here to secure victory, right? Yes. Only one round. SF are playing this intelligently. The pick strategy seems like the smartest thing they could possibly do here. Rebels kind of like this uh, this area right here. It seems like they did well last time, uh, last four four rounds uh, when uh, SF was in the tower. And it uh, looks like they'll see if they can get that success again. It's a tough area to attack. M made it much harder because of SF only having one cavalry. However, that's one cav that uh, Rebels don't have. Rebels, I think, are now 
banking on SF aggression here. They're all Tez infantrymen. All Tesla's larger. sending to flank. Oh my goodness, if Thesis is by himself against three uh, SFs. Oh, if Thesis stuff. forgot he didn't spawn with the horse. That's the only explanation for why he's here. He gets taken down and Rebels oh. are too late to uh, Rebel crew turned the corner to help, but just only in time to see his bro die. Flag pops and it flat pops in the same position as it did last round at the brew. Ooh, some of SF from Giraffe and Ralix are pushing forward. I think they're trying to distract, but I think two men is not enough to distract the rest of them. Oh my goodness, no wait, the tunnels. I forgot about the tunnels. Oh, oh man, brilliant. No. Ralix and Co going for the good archers. Infantry work. Even though Giraffe took two hits on the crossfire, he's he's making sure Dag cannot fire. Oh, Mock Rock and a two-hander, God bless you, but you know you can't use that in competitive. He takes an arrow to the face. Rebel Lord Dag running, being chased down. This is what happens to rebellions. They get run out. 357 trying to get that flag up. Got it pretty far up, but Dag gets there. Oh, Dag is going to be played and flogged and his body paraded around the streets. Wow. This is close. 6-8. 6-8 eight. indeed. Templar just dropped and uh, asking for somebody to uh, drop on rebel side or Templar is coming back in. Makes it oh, the fight is now seconds. actually fight underneath the tower, inside the tower. SF is doing well. Getting they are doing much better because they command it first. I don't know they why have... Rebels went right in there at Rox because it cost a team kill on Captain. Yes, that's a star player. Oh, that team kill is setting a, a, a chain of events. Oh my goodness. Wow, oh Rally's my. got a chamber and kills Courtney on that. And it's Madness three... coming from behind. Arches from mere meters away gets the kill. A ballsy maneuver that plays, pays out. 357 now helping Madness get this final kill. Well, well, no, Ratlix is finding Mr. Bohemian. But no, no, it's not enough. 357 coming in. Brilliant. Brilliant. High risk, high reward, and SF get rewarded because they're still in this. Wow, this might go. This is the last round, and, you know, if, if, uh, if Rebels win, they win. And if uh, SF wins, they tie. This is, this is for all there the marbles no right overtime. now. All the marbles. Are they? Oh, both teams on a crash course. Crash They're going course. right in for it. This is going to be great. Oh, first oh, shot hit. lands on a rebel. Oh, and the hammer comes out. Take the room. Oh, oh my, he's falling. The swing and is furious. Neanderthal trying to get clutch shots off. Captain Looks like SF's really going to win this one. Even 357's in there with the horse. He's not even needed. He's not needed, but they're still going. SF oh, tie. Wow. Clean sweeps both sides. That is hey, hey. uh that is something that is crazy. <laughs> I don't think that's happened in UNAC and it just proves how far along these guys have come. SF and Rebels are uh, you know, basically even when it comes to uh competitive play. At least right now they are. Basically even, which means they're both good. Yeah, oh was, my goodness. That was a fantastic job and a great way to end it by both charging into the tower. That was just a bit. That was brilliant. Way. I hope, Craddock, I hope that was so wild and crazy. I hope you caught that. Yeah, <laughs> that was. Inside there too. That was fun. I think that was the most intense match right there. I thought that last round. <laughs> that was absolutely, oh my god, invigorating. That second last round, I was watching a thesis and he was just ripping through SF and then he got TK'd. And that was the turning point. That was the end. As soon as that TK happened, there. that jab came in, it was it was just a bam. SF took over.
Well, there was also a TK from the other party, but it might not have been as instrumental in swaying the battle. They could have got Templar, uh, not Templar, but uh, Thesis off uh, and started his run. But still, it was that's pretty crazy. So that uh, is really crazy. MVP for uh, matches, guys. I want to say for SF, I think Captain should be MVP because when he joined. Well, then again, it didn't win, but he joined and made it a tie, I think, honestly. He did spectacular work throughout. And I'm going to have to say Mock on uh, Open Plains for Rebels really carried him. Other than that, I mean, this is this has been a fantastic uh, match. Both, uh, both sides showcasing extreme talent and uh, showing what they're made of. Hopefully Marcus... they uh, continue doing well. There was smart decision making coming from both sides and brilliant I, maneuvers. Just wow. Yeah, I, I, my favorite moment was when uh, uh, three five seven kept on doing the same pattern it, with the thesis following him, and finally Tesla comes down to the tunnel, and that same pattern er, turns around the corner, and Tesla's sitting right there with his crossbow. His, SF did something like that too. Me. They got mocked the, a similar way, except instead of an archer running out the corner. It was a horse coming out the corner. Yep, uh, SF had, had a few that they have. They obviously have some great communication going on. Then, I mean, but then there's something to be said that this match is close, but it's also it's turnaround landslides. You know, like yeah, it was four both ways. Consistency problems with this team. It did, it did feel like that. It did, it did feel like they should, you know, at least one of them should have won on on uh, one of their matches. That was among the best streamed UNAC matches I have seen. <laughs> <laughs> it was definitely entertaining. Anyway, uh, I think that is it for us. Uh, anything else you want to add, E-Man? Okay, Doc? No. That was a spectacular match. I do, even though this tournament will conclude and these folk will not make it into the playoff, they are winners, both of them. Yeah, they they uh, they win our stream of the night. <laughs> well, actually, Valiant versus Jay was surprising, but probably not as entertaining. That as, was uh, surprising. This one was sick. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that that's exactly right. <laughs> and remember, right, Mr. Well, Craddock is on the camera controls. The Mad props to him for capturing all of that folk. Yep, and uh, I'm Boogie as your host. And I am E-Man, and this concludes the Warband NA stream. Good night. Thanks for watching, guys. Good night.